Amy Hundley. I'm very pleased to share with you two of my favorite Jim Harrison poems. Um, I had the honor of working with Jim on his fiction, and the first poem, which is called Love, is one that he wrote um, during a time when I was visiting him in Arizona working on the manuscript of one of his fiction books. Um, we went out to dinner, he and Linda and um, my partner and I, the night before, and we drank a lot and we ate a lot, and he was very proud to show me his special place. Um, I can't remember which day it was, but some, at some point during that trip, his Scottish lab Zilpha bit Christabel in the hand while they were playing catch. Um, and um, it was the first time I'd ever spent like a long period of time with Jim in one of his homes. It was really wonderful. And so the night after that dinner, he we came we came every day around nine, um, and he was very keen about starting on time. Um, and he came downstairs proudly, ready to share a poem that he told me that he had written overnight. And so this is love. Love is raw as freshly cut meat, mean as a beetle on the track of dung. It is the Celtic dog that ate its tail in a dream. It chooses us as a blizzard chooses a mountain. It's seven knocks on the door, you pray not to answer. The boy followed the girl to school, beating his heart with each step. He wished to dance with her beside a lake, the wind showing the leaves silvery undersides. She held the moist bouquet of wild violets he had picked against her neck. She wore the sun like her skin, but beneath her blood was black as soil. At the grave of her dog in the woods, she told him to please go away forever. So that's love. Um, and the other one that I would like to share is the poem that, um, when Jim died, came to my mind the most. Um, along with Barking and Larson's Holstein Cow, um, I think these are the poems that we've, that I've come back to a lot since then. And it's called Weeks. The weeks rush past, headed for the infinity of the past 12 billion years ago before they had the job of being weeks. They're tired of it and want to go back home, to a pillowed galaxy, the homeland, and the spheres with no people around to bother them with multifoliate appointments. Odin is welcome to stand there indefinitely with ravens perched on his shoulders, and Vallejo to die on a rainy Thursday in Paris after collecting discarded wine bottles to buy bread. Bread alone only makes you hungrier, he said. Thursday is a good day to die, especially if there's a cold rain on Montparnasse. Vallejo wanted to go home to Peru, but couldn't with an empty wallet and a heavy heart, seeing his soul rise up from her parents into the rain.